V from start point or V1. DS Allen briefs the recruits on their next event, an eight kilometer navigation exercise across the mountains. The grid reference. I got a little bit obsessed with, with this selection process um, the last two or three months preparing for it. So I kind of joined an orienteering club to a couple of events in it. So. Yeah, okay, it's just before in terms of every group, what was the, the grid reference of the final location? Okay. Oh, zero, eight, two, three, two, one, zero, two. That's the northern. Bend down again. Just get another couple. Yeah, I'd right, say let's go. Just do that. Now, stand up. That ain't going anywhere, brother. That is solid as a rock. True. Fuck off outside, Muppets. I was kind of looking forward to testing myself as much as I could. Physically, but more mentally. I think the more you kind of the more you test yourself mentally, the more you put yourself in uncomfortable situations um, and come out the other side stronger, I think you, you grow more as a person. Heavy snowfall and poor visibility will make navigating through the mountains extremely difficult. Put your ground flat down there. Drop your Put your heads. Okay. Well done, guys. RV1. High South. High South. Okay, well done. Well done. Show me where you are now. Going to rendezvous to. We Despite have being the youngest recruit, number 12, Michal O'Shea, is taking charge okay. of the group. Let's get moving. You're happy yeah. enough, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Happy. So happy. 1600 meters are following a mile, so. If I'm comfortable with an environment and I think that I can offer something, I'm not afraid to jump in. I'm not going to think about, oh, I'm the youngest here. Um, do you know, what will these people think of me? When I was younger, I was more kind of a, a follower. I kind of would just be in the background of groups. And ultimately, like, you're never going to be as happy if you don't lead your own life. So we should be on the way down. Yeah. After about 150, yeah. 200 meters, should be a bit of a drop. Yeah. And then so, we're at RV2. As temperatures plummet, the recruits must navigate through whiteout conditions to reach their final destination. Right, the next event that you're going on to now is unarmed combat. Oh. Relax, relax. Look at me. Ready to go again? Yes, yes. You've got to be able to turn that aggression on, but then you've also got to be able to turn it off, you know, like a light switch, really. Oh, oh. Oh. Yeah, basically my leg just collapsed from under me. My kneecap kind of just shot out, I suppose, to the right, and then my leg went a little bit left. I, I knew that was the end of it for me, really. Is she, is she gone, yeah? You know, I was got it, I'm not going to say otherwise, but I really, I really kind of broke my heart a little bit. Number, number 12, you know, got a, got a bad injury that there was no way he could continue on the course. And I actually felt uh, quite sorry for him because I reckon he would have kept going uh, right to the end. Happened that life, you know. Um, it was just a case of bad luck. It can be hard to, to accept, though. 